just about everything in today's modern world is owned and controlled by these same financial institutions who are also invested in each other, forming a pyramid of financial power topped by BlackRock and Vanguard. BlackRock loans money to the Federal Reserve Bank, advises them. BlackRock itself is owned by Vanguard. It's easy to get out of the Vanguard system. You can switch over your IRAs, your 401ks, to Noble Gold Investments. It's one of the best ways that we can take back our power. Gone are the days where we don't pay attention. We understand how this works now. One of the sponsors of our show, Noble Gold, has also just been picked by Consumer Affairs, the rating agency, as the overall number one gold IRA company in the United States. Talk to the team today if you are thinking of precious metals. And if you're quick, they are giving away a beautiful one-tenth ounce pure gold coin with any qualifying plan that you take out with them this month. NobleGoldInvestments.com. We thank Noble Gold for sponsoring the RiskFlex channel. I will put links beneath this video that you can easily click or you can call 877-646-5347. All day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long beating you over the head in their media telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged, and nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Go check out my last video if you have not already, the one I just posted. It ties into this. So we already know that Epstein visited the Department of Defense countless times, and we know the DOD owns property right next to his New Mexico ranch. And just this week, we're finding this out. Jeffrey Epstein rented New York City mansion from federal government. What? from 92 to 96, and then that government, our government, sued him for subletting it. CEO of Blaze Media said, bizarre that the State Department rented out a five-story Upper East Side mansion to Jeff from 92 to 96. Does the State Department rent out property to private citizens often? Seems weird, doesn't it? Journalist Yashar Ali said, yes, they rent out properties. When diplomatic ties are cut with a country, the U.S. is required to take care of them under Vienna Convention. They can earn income by renting them. They rent out other Iranian properties. In the past, they did this for Vietnam, Iraq, and Yugoslavia. The timeline shows Epstein first rented the apartment from George H.W. Bush hmm, and rented it throughout Bill Clinton's first term. So the deal soured because Epstein then got out and subleased it to someone else. And so he was spending, he was paying $15,000 a month and then he subleased it for $20,000 a month. So he was making a profit then on top of that. So here's where it gets a little sticky for the government. His subtenant was Ivan Fisher, a New York City criminal defense lawyer who had famously defended members of the French Connection and Pizza Connection drug rings. <sighs> uh... Hold up. So the government provided housing for their lawyer Ivan, who defended mafias whom were laundering money through the pizza parlors in America. Ivan also represented criminals from the French Connection as well. A New York Daily News article from the time headline, Lawyer Pays Not a Cent for Palatial East Side Digs. And it said that Fisher had stopped paying rent after learning that the State Department had terminated Epstein's lease as a result of the conflict over Fisher's subtenancy and was living there rent-free. Y'all. Yo. The government and Epstein. It's all intertwined. Oh, what a web we weave. If you guys remember this 2017 interview between Putin and a French publication, Putin himself said, when a president is elected in the United States, men in dark suits immediately arrive and explain to them how things are really operated around town. Putin says, I've communicated with three presidents. Presidents come and go, but politics always remain the same in the United States. And do you want to know why that is? Because bureaucracy has a lot of power. A person is elected, they come in with great ideas, but then people with their briefcases come in and visit them right away, well-dressed in dark suits, kind of like mine, except I wear a red tie. And they explain exactly how things go down. And you see, the entire rhetoric changes. 
they get scared when they get in there because of the bureaucracy, the control that the military industrial complex has over the United States government. Those people are guilty. They are the devil. That building is designed in the wrong shape. Okay, speaking of the DoD, Russian hackers launch a cyber attack on Lockheed Martin. Armed forces hack into their HIMARS, according to reports. Now, the DoD doesn't want to say that they're weakened at all by Russia. They're actually denying these claims. But what do we know? They don't let us access the field to take a look. Only their mainstream journalists. Breaking news. A massive sinkhole just appeared in Chile on a copper mining site. Geologists discovered it on July 30th, which happens to be World Day Against Trafficking. The hole was located north of the capital, Santiago. It was around 650 feet deep and 82 feet wide. So to give you a visual of how big that is, it's larger than the Washington Monument. According to Newsweek, this is the largest sinkhole ever found in the world. London Mining owns 80% of the property and the rest is owned by a Japan company. I'm just gonna say London Company has done a lot of business deals with Rio Tinto Mining Company, British Queen Lizzie's favorite mining company. The owners of this mine, the Londons, donated $100 million to the Clinton Foundation and Jeffrey Epstein helped to co-found the Clinton Foundation. The Londons also sponsored Ronald Reagan's election campaign for then which all of Reagan's assets went to Singleton, Epstein's New Mexico ranch neighbor, because Singleton ran Ronald Reagan's blind trust. Can you see? Epstein brought in the money and the power, and this is how they're able to control the government through the bureaucracy. The Londons ventured into South America for mining when they started working with the British oil company Shell. That was their first in to South America. As we know, little Jizzy and her father Maxwell were British intelligence. Rest in peace, Vin Scully. He passed away yesterday. He was an American sportscaster. He was best known for his 67 seasons calling games for Major League Baseball's Los Angeles Dodgers. Here's a clip of him broadcasting about Venezuela, speaking of South America. Socialism failing to work as it always does, this time in Venezuela. You talk about giving everybody something free and all of a sudden there's no food to eat. And who do you think is the richest person in Venezuela? The daughter of Hugo Chavez. Hello. Anyway, Owen to Spitting the facts while he's sportscasting. Microcon 2022 is coming up this weekend, August 5th through the 7th in Las Vegas, Nevada. A meetup of micro-nationalists from around the world. Here's a list of all of the attendees and sovereign little countries that don't really get much recognition elsewhere. Did you guys know that in America, it only takes 150 people to band together to form their own city? According to our constitution, you can do that. One of the most famous micro-nations that you may even have heard of is the Rajneeshis Bhagwans. This was around the 1970s, I believe, out of Oregon. It was originally a group of people from an ashram in India, in Poon, India, who decided to come to the U.S. to create their own little sovereign establishment. I did a lot of research into the Rajneeshis, by the way, and Poon is like a very Jesuit area, but I'm not going to get into it. They say tick-borne illnesses are increasing 350% since 2007. Beware, they also have a new tick that makes you allergic to meat. Okay, of course it does. This is the extent that they are willing to go. According to a 2021 chart, Lyme disease is right in this New Jersey, Vermont, Maine, Rhode Island, Connecticut area. This is the hot spot. Of course this is the hot spot. It's right off the coast of where Lab 257 is located. Nothing new. We've talked about this. But nonetheless, oh, it's a mystery. It's going around in this area and they don't know why. Exactly how much those dark men in suits that run the country knew about Epstein. We're finally seeing it all come out. All the while, we have their locations in New Mexico getting burned to the ground. And Lockheed got a little unexpected embarrassment in the news. 
With that being said, you all, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're able to learn something. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and become a member today if you have not already to access exclusive benefits. I love you. I hope you stay safe. I hope you meditate and pray to God. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye!